little did I know um, <coughs> um, a year ago when we got elected we'll be working on something like this um, but it's certainly um, quite exciting as I mentioned earlier that by signing this MOU with two of probably the largest um, um, NGOs in conservation in the world of conservation it certainly will help us to be able to ensure that we keep up to our commitments. You know, in many instances, um, um, individuals and companies and governments, I did not want to start with governments, um, sign on to agreements or agree to do certain things and they don't. But through this MOU, it will help to guide us and to steer us to ensure that we can live to the commitments because um, the MOU is also tied to the announcement um, on the setting up of the um, this PFP that will be used to, to finance a lot of the conservation, the marine conservation work that we are doing and need to continue to do in Belize. So um, um, certainly for me as the Prime Minister, it's a, a privilege and an honor to be able to sign on behalf of the people of Belize. Belize has been at the map when it comes to the issue of conservation. As it is, we have more than 30% of our land already in some form of protection. And uh, with this agreement, we expect by 2026, we'll be having 30% of our oceans under some sort of protection. Um, so, but what is important with what we're doing today is that this gives us now the opportunity not only to have what you call um, paper reserves, but the PFP gives an opportunity to countries, especially small countries like ours that have difficulty in accessing funding, to be able to ensure that we can have funding in permanence, as what PFP stands for. And for us in Belize, we are very excited about it. Um, when I met with the private sector, with the um, with the labor and the opposition and our NGO community and we explained as to what we are doing and what this agreement that we want to work with with um, both of you. Um, everybody was very excited about that opportunity. So I want to encourage other countries to look at what we are doing now and what some of the other countries like Costa Rica has been doing and Brazil and Bhutan and to see this opportunity of finding the funds to be able to have your reserves not only on paper, but also to really protect them for future generations.